Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to a very overdue haul. My basket of holly things is gigantically full and overflowing, so it's time to show you. There are a few things that are still on their way to me, but you'll just see them in the next haul. I think that's fine. I will start by preambling if you're on a low buy, this will not help. I failed. I just like buying makeup and I have the money to do it, so I just do. Um, and yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna go from the biggest package that is in front of me. This is from Clinique. I um, bought a new eye cream because I needed it. I am out of eye creams. A friend gave me samples. I finished those as well, so I needed a new eye cream. Um, by chance, Clinique had a 25% off discount day and I decided to buy a new eye cream. The one I chose is the new Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler Concentrate, which is part of the, their Moisture Surge uh, line. The concentrate, the serum of this, I gifted to a friend of mine and she loved it. I have tried it on my uh, hand a few times in store and uh, I was really interested in this because I have oily skin but um, one of the biggest thing is to keep the under eye area hydrated anyways and I what, didn't like any uh, eye creams that are too thick or sticky or creams. I like gels. Um, something like the Kiehl's avocado cream is okay because in the end when you rub it in it feels like water very very light. Um, so when this one came out I thought oh that will go on my uh, wish list and with 25% off it was actually doable. So this is what it looks like. Another requirement for me was that it was not in a pot because I I'm managing to grow my nails, crazy stuff, but uh, I hate dipping my fingers in pots and overall I just want my products to be in airtight containers. Um, a tube is okay, but as long as I don't have to dip my fingers in it, it's better. So this has a, a um, airless pump and it's perfect. I'm very curious to try it. And that goes back in there. Then I made a cult beauty order which arrived just recently and the main reason to uh, do so was to buy this guy, the new Huda Beauty Neon Orange palette. I have already used it once, you might have seen it on my Instagram stories and this is what she looks like. There were three of these that came out no, this one was the one with the best review, let's put it that way. The green one wasn't really reviewed greatly and um, this one here is said to be good. I tried it yesterday in my eyes, I used all the shades except for this um, pink here. Did I use? Maybe I didn't use this one either, but I used all the oranges and the yellows and oh my god, these are pigmented. I love it. It's really bright. This yellow up here is so beautiful. Let me see if I can get an angle that you can see it properly. Um, it's so beautiful and the shimmers are definitely glitter toppers. I'm very happy with this. I'm all for the neon trend even though I'm in my usual rusty makeup. Anyways, then uh, to reach free shipping of course I had to buy a few things and I finally purchased the Isle of Paradise Dark Glow Clear Self Tanning Mousse. So. Um, this is a clear mousse which I like because I'm trying now for a while to finish my Saint Tropez one but I have a problem because I that one has a guide color so it helps with applying it very smoothly and to see where you have already applied it however then you have uh, to wait eight hours before you can wash it off so either I apply it in the morning before going to work let's say and then I have to hope that my clothes don't get dirty from the uh, base color of the tan or I put it in the evening and wash it off in the morning and then my sheets get completely um, colored with tan and I don't like either so I wanted a tan without a base color. I have the Isle of Paradise uh, face drops or just tanning drops I think and that I mix with my moisturizer or my face oils and I love those so I decided to go for the foam, for the mousse. I am hoping this dark isn't too dark because I usually wear a medium and this was might have been a mistake. We will see, only time will tell. And then of course I wanted to try an eye primer. If you know me, you know I have a tough time finishing eye primers. <laughs> they last forever. 
and yet I bought a new one. The thing is, I've wanted to try the P. Louise space for a while, but Samantha Ravendahl has not been liking it, and then I thought, well, I'm not gonna spend 10 pounds plus 10 pounds in shipping for something that I might not like because it's not my style of makeup, which, uh, to be honest, I'm not big in these more Instagram cut crease and things like that, so for me, the P. Louise base was more of a I wanna try thing. And then Anastasia came out with a new eye primer and they have a mini of it, which I love. It's seven milliliters and uh, this is what it looks like and I haven't tried it yet. I am um, very curious to try it. She loves it, Samantha does, and uh, hence I will probably love it too because yeah, she's my influencer. <laughs> Then let's not beat around the bush because you've seen this guy already, the Gemini palette. I ordered it when it restocked on Beauty Bay. It got here, I used it immediately two times. Once I did a green look uh, just for myself. I think I showed you guys on Instagram stories um, as I usually do with my first impressions. And then I did a look with all of these neutral tones on my last Get Ready With Me, which I will link in the cards above and she's gorgeous she's gorgeous i am so happy i have her in my life and yeah that's all um i don't know let me know if you want to see looks with this one i don't think it will be particularly interesting since this has been out for a long time so maybe not a video but i, I will be creating something with this one on uh, instagram for sure i love the look the texture of it it seems amazing Oh, and I just found a sample in my box of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This was a sample that came with the eye cream, which is a win-win because I love these for traveling. They're great makeup removers. Then uh, a package that arrived today and is still kind of wrapped is the Morphe Live in Color brush set. This was their Pride release and I resisted for a little bit. Also uh, released with a palette, but I thought I have so many colorful palettes, I don't need another rainbow palette. But I wanted to support the cause, I like Morphe eye brushes, I always want more eye brushes, so I bought this guy here. This is how it looks, it's a hard cardboard with these uh, brushes inside they are half they come out hmm interesting i think i might just uh, rip, rip these out to use the case as a brush case because it's magnetic seems fine and uh, yeah these are the brushes i liked it, the set because all the eye brushes are very small and with my small eyes i just wanted small brushes and um this was um I believe just under free shipping limits and so to get free shipping I bought one more brush and this was recommended by Nicole at Young Well and Polish it was on my wish list for a while because she talked about it so much and this is the M456 which is a small quite soft uh, but very nice and tapered very small brush I am curious to see how I, I will manage to use this to be honest um, I'll manage for sure. I'm curious how to use it compared to something else because I'm looking here for something like uh, MAC 217 actually and you can see how it's much smaller and um, uh, thinner as well. So interesting. Um, I am very happy to have these. I thought it was a good cause to support. They gave 100% of proceeds to the Trevor project I believe and that is a great thing. Then uh, Colourpop, I uh, made an order the day the blush sticks were launched. I bought this set here, which contained these three um, sticks. This is the Call Me Big Poppy Blush and Light Sticks set. It retailed for $22 and that brings it underneath um, the limit for customs for me. I paid for shipping uh, on top of that and uh, um, that was that. It arrived to me within a week. I am lucky, I know, I'm sorry Italian people, but uh, in the Netherlands the post works quite well. Um, the three blushes, um, there's one highlighter and then there's two blushes. You've seen me use them in my Get Ready With Me. I am wearing today the shade Aloha, um, but in Milan I did wear the under pressure coral one because it was gorgeous and very corally and bright for a full coral look. So yeah quite happy with these. I've been liking them um, less the highlighter than the blush but I'll refer you to my get ready with me where I talk about it and show you how it applies but these are these. 
Then a while ago I received a package from Pixie with their new uh, Glow collection or the additional products to their Glow collection and uh, these were gifted to me. I threw away the big box because I find that uh, they're beautiful boxes. I showed you guys on Instagram stories but they're not handy to have in the house so I recycled what needed to be recycled but I have the products here in there was the phenomenal gel which is pH nominal gel and it's a neutralizing moisturizer the idea is to uh, stabilize and balance pH after you use acidic products on your skin and uh, there is also the glow tonic cleansing gel which you're supposed to use first the glow tonic the, just the glow tonic sorry <laughs> so this was the glow yeah it was the glow tonic cleansing gel the glow tonic and um, this one will go in a giveaway for you guys because I have a ton and I love it I use it but you guys will get this one in my next giveaway there is also the glow tonic serum and um, this contains glycolic acid like the whole line and aloe vera and then there is the on the glow ginseng and glycolic acid multi-use moisture stick this is the most innovative product of these um personally i'm curious on how i will use it probably i don't know as a lip balm i am not sure um this is what it looks like and um you can see that it's a balm and it leaves your skin quite glowy it does feel like a balm to me so i would never put this texture on my skin to be honest it is too emollient and um yeah just too balmy for my oily skin it feels like yeah no it, this would not it was, this would not end up on my skin and my face but it might be nice uh, a nice lip balm or just at night time um they say travel friendly solid moisturizer use on face lips body and hair formulated with a unique mix of vitamin d gentle acid and vitamins to protect treat and increase moisture level immediately and long term so we'll see i like the idea of having it travel sized and solid for when you travel for example and it's very warm or you, it, it's i don't know you need more moisture that is a possibility the whole glow range from pixie of course contains glycolic acid and um I had discussed in depth what the uh, use is and how to, I would use these products on my Instagram stories. You can still find those stories on highlights, I believe. And yeah, I referred them, you to them before I start going on and on about them. I then made an order from China for some face tools. And the reason is I have been battling tension headaches for months now, since January or even December. And um, found out together with my uh, traditional Chinese medicine doctor that it all comes from tightness in my muscles in my neck. So when he um, did a Gua Sha uh, massage to my neck, my headaches were so much better the week after and we need to keep keep uh, getting the tension off. And I thought I'd buy something to do with myself at home to at least nightly help with relieving the tension let's put it that way and uh, what i did buy is this little set and it contains a roller and a gua sha and uh, they are in pink quartz not jade um but i thought it was more about the um the treatment itself doing it so what i do in the evenings i have been uh, following um i think her account is minimal beauty she is a facialist who does this type of massages and she shows her own routine and how to do things i am not a professional at all i don't know what i'm doing but i think it helps and um is taking this and releasing slowly the tension at the jaw and then down the neck and then at the base of the neck as well because uh, it's both full of lymph nodes as well as it improves circulation and um, releases the muscles that in my case are very tight and give me headaches. The bonus of the roller was just for the bonus um, and I don't know, I have used it a little bit to massage my face but I, I don't know exactly. My main thing was to have this because this is what my doctor used um, he left me bruises, but that's because he's a doctor and he knows what he's doing. I would never treat my skin or my body like that without knowing what I'm doing. So I do very gentle massage um, downward strokes on both sides of my neck. And um, I might go upwards on the fa fascia that 
um, with these muscles here that join to the temple and the, and the muscles here. So yeah, I am, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I put on some oil at night and I do this massage for a minute or two. That's about it. And um, yeah, I haven't really used the roller much. I am sweating, like there's no tomorrow. It's like 20 degrees. It's overcast, but it's so warm and I, whew. Then one more thing uh, is this bag. So I went to Milan for a weekend to meet my friends and it was awesome. It was beautiful weather. We shopped until we dropped, ate amazing food. I was just rolling, eating and spending money. That's pretty much it. And I went to Sephora and uh, I picked up a few things, not much. I am proud of uh, the low amount that I bought, still bought quite a bit of stuff. First things first, I purchased the Lanolips Desert Glow Hydrating Lip Luminizer. This is what it looks like and it is what I have on my lips right now. It is a shimmery, warm toned gloss. The smell is not wonderful. It smells a little bit like a gloss that I used when I was in middle school. I don't know, or in junior high in, in America, I guess that's what the name is. Um, however, on the lips it feels nice and hydrating. My lips already absorbed a lot of it because they were very dry. Um, so this is uh, one thing I wanted to try that I was, was absolutely unnecessary, but uh, it was in the Isle of Doom at the end of it, of the towards the cashiers, so it got me. But this is one thing. Then. Then uh, another thing in the Isle of Doom that I uh, bought is the This Works kit for sleeping. Um, there's the deep sleep pillow spray and the stress check roll-on. I have used the pillow spray in the past and I have loved it. Um, I, I, I think it works. It is a lavender base and now this one also has a roll-on and my thought was due to these um, headaches that are due to stress. I uh, tense up a lot and um, maybe if I use this roll-on it can help just release the pressure and the tension and the stress so then I can be better. So I bought this set. What I actually went to Sephora for was to repurchase my Stana lip paint in Uncensored. I bought it when it launched in the US. Uh, I still remember going to Sephora on Thanksgiving night um, because I didn't want to go with Black Friday uh, in 2017, I think. Um, or maybe it was 2016, I can't remember. No, 2017, I think. And I remember buying it. Then uh, last month at the beginning of um, May, I wore it for the last time and since then I haven't found it. So I looked all over my car, in every purse I have, in all my collection, I couldn't find it. And this is the, the red lipstick for me. Um, I don't have anything like this. It, it is the best formula and color for me for a red lip and my husband loves it. So it's the only thing that I would repurchase when I lose it. I did. As I always do when I go to Sephora, I stocked up on a few masks. I love their uh, hand masks. This is the Aloe Vera Ultra Moisturizing and Beautifying Hand Mask. I like doing these. I don't know that they work fantastically, but it's a treat. And I use them usually twice. So what is it, three euros 90? It's fine, it's a, it's, it's a treat. It's a pleasant thing. And then I also bought two face masks, the Quenching and Replenishing Aloe Vera Mask and the Pineapple Face Mask for Pore Perfecting and Smoothing. These are these. I don't think they work, to be honest. That the serum, I don't think there's much in there that is really, really good, but I enjoy them. The price is at the right point. I can use them twice before I throw them away. So um, I think it's worth it. Then uh, we went on a trip to Inglot. They have these super cute pink bags now. And I bought a few things. I saw the new Nier liner and I did not buy it. It's a beautiful yellow neon, but I thought he would be proud of me. And the reason is I bought a white liner instead. Um, I have been using the ColourPop white gel liner, but I don't think it works properly. Um, and I know that Inglot makes my favorite gel eyeliner formula, so I bought the white one. And then I have been looking forever for a white matte eyeshadow, and I know Sugar Pearl Taco is an option, but it's 10 euros or 9 euros 50, and it's a lot. 
since we had a discount I bought instead their matte white eyeshadow and uh, let me see if I, this is the right one yeah this is number 373 so uh, it swatched nicely so I hope that it will work nicely and then they had a few shades that they're discontinuing prob probably at 60% off so uh, I also bought this shade which is number 286 which is a very very pale yellow um, matte eyeshadow so these were my purchases at Inglot. I told you guys this was a long one. <laughs> it's lasting forever. I also got as a gift for my, from my friend uh, the Nabla Dreamy Liquid Lipstick in Baudelaire. And I have yet to try this. Ooh, if I don't drop it. And it is a beautiful warm deep red. Let me swatch it. It seems like the perfect color for me. And I'm very curious to wear it and I am very very happy for this gift thank you so much and uh, yeah this is what it looks like the packaging on Nabla is always on point and then I oh I found another thing in my Sephora bag I bought another one of these shine lipsticks they're called the Sephora Rouge Brilliance Sephora Rouge Shine this is the shade 03 Party Queen and it is a very bright coral let me open it up I bought uh, one of these when I was in Paris and it is a beautiful um, yeah just pinky nude I really really like it and these are so high shine look at how beautiful that is they are uh, slightly sheer so um, yeah I wanted to show you that they are sheer but buildable and I think it's gonna be beautiful for the summer and then I did a drugstore run at DM uh, where I bought some gel pads for under the eyes. I need to put these in the fridge and some just simple essence nail stuff, a uh, nail repairing oil and the rosewood sticks as well as a lip balm from Balea because pink grapefruit I cannot resist. And that was that. And finally I have three nail polishes I bought from Amazon. These are the three. Uh, I always wait on Amazon to buy Essie when they're like five or seven euros. Uh, full price they're above 10 I believe. So um, I like to buy them uh, just on sale. This one here is uh, Souls on Fire and it's part of the summer uh, 2019. So this current summer collection. I love this. It's a very bright neon um, orange, pastel orange, and it dries matte but with a top coat on top. It's beautiful. Two coats, gorgeous. Um, I've shown you again on my Instagram stories uh, these and I think I posted a post on Instagram as well. Then I uh, wore Peach Side Babe as well and this is more of a peachy shade. You can see it is also kind of a pastel neon um, the theme for this summer apparently for me and then finally I got the shade exposed this is a just a greeny military green with quite a bit of gray in it it is part it was part of a bridal I think collection a while ago but I thought I didn't have something like this now that I look at it it seems like I do so I'm gonna think about uh, whether I want to open it at all um, I will compare the bottles with the ones I do have Last final thing, and this is super exciting, I made an order from sigil.me, the Tami Tanuka uh, sigil inspired pigments, and I got 10 pigments. They came in this cute little box. They came wrapped so beautifully, and these are the mini size. Um, here is what they look like. They all come in these little jars with the sigil on top. It's, it's beautiful. And these are two multi-chromes and the rest are duochromes, but they are so beautiful. And I think there is enough uh, product in a mini. I see if I can show you a little bit of this. Again, oh yeah, you can see it in the lid, the multi-chrome shift. I have done swatches for Instagram, so you'll find them on there once I figure out the names, because the names on the jar are in Russian only and I don't speak Russian so I'll have to look at my order and figure out what color that is and figure out the name in English but I will do so eventually I hope all in all that was my huge haul for the month of uh, May and June 
whatever since the last month. I have a lot of makeup to play with so you'll probably see some more get ready with me's. Let me know down below if you want specific looks or reviews of these products and I um, can't wait to start playing with them. I can finally do that now that I've showed you them very well. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I will go get my hair out of my uh, out of myself. Just put it in a bun. I want to chop it off. I'm sweating so badly. Sorry for the glow and the minimal makeup, but I can't wear more than this in this weather. I wish you all the best and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.